Hey guys, just a quick update on a little tool I've been working on uh, the past few days and, and obviously a bunch of other little things, but this is pretty cool to showcase, so I wanted to, to show it to you. Uh, this is uh, basically a tool that converts any hierarchical instant static mesh into a destructible mesh, uh, basically. So you can see here on, on this map, I have one single actor and has, uh, you can see here on the right, hierarchical instant static mesh with um, 304 instances of this building mesh that I have in these uh, materials here. So obviously that means that it's super efficient. You can see if I go back, it starts calling the, the actor based on the distance. So you could have, if you wanted, thousands and thousands of these uh, meshes and be still very, very efficient. Um, however, what if you wanted to make this destructible? Uh, and that's exactly what this little um, actor blueprint um, or component does. Right? So if I select the actor here, you can see here that I have the, the component destructible HISM added to this. And this is going to take a few values. What's the health of each instance that you have here? Uh, and then um, once the instance reaches zero, meaning you destroy the instance, what damage will it apply to the instance? what impulse will it apply to the instance um, you know where you hit it and then it's gonna obviously crumble right? you're, you're gonna be using a destructible mesh and then whether the debris will have collision or not and whether you want the debris to be destroyed uh, and if so how many seconds I'm gonna make it 20 seconds here and then the specific class that you want to to replace the instance with and and this is super simple to create basically this is you grab a destructible mesh that you just created and you literally just created a, a blueprint out of it and then reference it here uh, so all this does is it detects the, the how many instances there are and it saves in a map basically a health of three or whatever you put in here per instance so in essence you can now destroy any of these buildings or partially damage it and the, and the component will actually remember the health and once it's destroyed it'll actually replace it with that class um, so let's click play here and I'm gonna make it full screen so I can show you what I mean and as I'm flying around here I'm just gonna uh, destroy this building that you see in front of me and you can see that it seamlessly replaced it with the appropriate class and now is uh, obviously destroyed and in about 20 seconds it should disappear which is the time that I gave it um, oops and I'm hitting something else here um, you, you see it now disappear. Now, of course you don't have to do that but I'm you know for performance reasons uh, in my case I, I, I like to do that uh, and you can see here that any of these buildings you can, you can choose to destroy and it will automatically replace it with the, with the appropriate destructor. Uh, and the cool thing is that you can partially damage buildings here. So if I go to this corner here, I'm going to hit this building twice only. One, two. Then I'm going to go away and I'm going to destroy this one here. I can actually come back here and destroy this building this here just by giving it one more hit because remember I just hit it twice so as soon as I do that you can see that it's now replaced because again I'm keeping the health information on a map for every single instance so just by adding this little component you could have potentially thousands of, of instances that are very efficient and then you can actually uh, dynamically destroy See, I don't have a really basic computer, but um, even when I uh, come up here and I can see all of the meshes, I'm still at around 84 frames per second. You can see here, it's kind of destroying. You could take this a bit farther, uh, you could add radial damage, which would be really cool. I guess maybe that's an improvement, so you could like drop a bomb with a huge radius and destroy like five or six buildings at the same time. Uh, but right now I just have it on a simple uh, point damage hit system. Cool. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, 
super simple but really really useful uh, at least in my template I wanted to have like destructible meshes in an efficient way in one of the levels so this is uh, one way of doing it so let me know what you think and I'll talk to you later thanks